Hello mga kababayan, welcome to my channel, welcome to Laruan ni Obi Wan. For this afternoon's review, we are going to take a look at another Action Force or Valiverse product. So we had a really good deal or blast with this um, Riot Gear set, which the results really look good on this uh, Marvel Legends Punisher action figure. So we have another weapons pack to review and actually really excited to have the um, garrison action figure which is um, also on its way so for the meantime let's crack this weapons pack bravo i have two of them which actually i'm going to resupply my um, other gi joe classified series action figures with this weapons pack so let's get the review going so the first recipient of this weapons pack bravo would be my gi joe classified series cobra pimp destro figure so actually i already i already customized this and took out some of the accessories or ridiculous um things that um Hasbro has placed on this figure so including the weapons system so actually this um, figure now sports two Uzi submachine guns and now I'm going to replace them with the AK-47 and the Desert Eagle 50 cal that is in this pack so I have two of them but let's crack one box open so we could take a look at the detail of the individual weapons so we have a visual list of the items that is included with this pack so we have a golden AK-47 a gold uh, 50 caliber pistol we have a shotgun a pump action shotgun an MP7 and a Walter 9 millimeter PDP I think that's the PDP pistol that is a Colt 1911 45 ACP that is a Belgian mini me that is a Chris vector and we have an suppressed MP5 with a red dot sight and the folding stock so very nice and simple box so just um, cut off the tape and you are greeted by all of the goods that is stored in this plastic bag so let's spread it on the review table and for show of course Let's put the packs on the side that way. And let's spill all of the contents of this weapons pack to the review table. So let's take a look at the individual um, weapon systems. So this, that is the AK-47. And I believe that we have three magazines for this. So those are also um, golden colored magazines for the AK-47 and let's load one mag in. So we could really take a look at how it looks. So all of the um, mechanisms for an AK-47 are there. The controls, the charging handle, the safety lever, the sights, the uh, rear sight, front sight and we have a wooden stack because it's brown in color so on the other side so accurately 100% AK-47 so this with a detachable magazine and two spare magazines so I still have another box so I have six magazines for this AK-47 so for the mp5 which comes suppressed with a picatinny rail and the red dot sight and the folding stock but the stock on this weapon actually is not a folding stock it's of course the design is a folding stock the magazine is non-detachable but with regards to paint job look at how this the thing is painted and look at how nicely detailed including the portholes on the uh, Picatinny um, handguard it is actually really there 
and the rail system really nice okay so, so that's the second one we have decreased vector 9 millimeter or 45 ACP suppressed with a holographic sight and a Magpul CTR I think that's the CTR butt stock so yep really nice color on this really long barrel and the suppressor on the end nice and simple and actually look at the profile of that so really nice and straight because it's made of hard plastic so it won't dead won't warp so we have the riot shotgun nicely pita uh, painted and nicely detailed so the bolt is uh, painted nice uh, in silver the charging handle it's a brown color and so with the um, short stubby handle for this broomstick of a 12 gauge and all of the weapon system actually comes with port holes because we have this accessory that you could possibly attach so there's three of them so you could attach this to the ends of each um, weapons um, pack or gun so just a sample of course that's a 12 gauge shotgun let's put in a bigger blast effect so look at that really 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 nice let's continue with the rest of the weapon set that we have on table so those are already okay so this is the 50 caliber um, pistol so the color actually is uniform or the tint and the gloss is the same as the AK-47 so these two actually is going to my um, GI Joe classified series Destro figure so 19, uh, 1911 45 ACP we have the MP7 suppressed with a red dot sight have the Walter PDP or PDM so I already shot this pistol the actual one and so I could really take uh, say that the details are really spot on and we have of course a handheld weapon a scythe And we have the Belgian Mini Me or the SO or the Squad Automatic Weapon M249. And we have the drum, the 200, dra uh, 200 round drum. So we have a belt that attaches to that port, loading port. And this point of the drum actually would engage that hole so let's do the sample yeah so this thing is a nice uh, fit and you don't have to worry that it's going to easily fall off so okay so there you go really nice fit and with regards to um, the outline of the um, submachine uh, the machine gun really nice and straight it isn't warped because it's made of hard plastic not soft plastic so last item we have the bipod which attaches to the front of the weapon system 
the last accessory we have a six pointed cup for a USMC uh, trooper so let's reassign this right away to a GI Joe classified series gung-ho figure so we could really take a look at how it looks okay so we have my custom uh, gung-ho figure so we have a 60 caliber machine gun and two weapons um, ammunition boxes on the side for the 60 cal and the 60 cal also has a uh, belt on it so a weapons belt and now the thing that we're going to change would be this cup because that is an army issued cup gang-ho is a marine so we're going to use this in replacement of that so let's take it off and it fall off it fell off the review table okay so this is fresh out of box and I know we're going to meet a little bit of resistance. Okay, so a little bit more of pressure so it's going to sit well on the head. Okay, there we go. So for Gang Ho, now that's the correct headgear for a Gang Ho figure. And this is from the Riot Gear set, so I reassigned it to my Gangho figure, which actually I could still store a pistol on this backpack for my Gangho. Okay, so let's move on to the other figure that I have in mind. Okay, so next recipient would be Destro. So let's take off that submachine gun and give him the AK-47. So inside this attache case or computer um, attache case of some sort, I also stored another weapon in there. So let's crack that open. So we have once again another Uzi submachine gun. But right now, let's put in the 50 cal Desert Eagle. But first, let us fit it with this um, Destro figure. So as to the shade of gold, though it's quite different shade, but still, uh, it's a good match. So for the shoulder um, missiles, and let's put it on the hand of Destro. look at that really really nice okay so we could store that this pistol inside the attache case uh, computer set and let's put in two extra AK-47 magazines and let's give the golden AK-47 to Destro so once again, color check, color check, and with the necklace and head scalp, color check. And how does it look on hand with the figure? Fits perfect, scale perfect. And of course, let's let him hold on to that attache case with the uh, Desert Eagle and spare mags for the AK-47. Okay, so that completes a perfect look for my Pimp Daddy Destro. Really perfect so if you like this video like comment and subscribe and let's go to the photos and the video shots so we could try the other weapons with the other gi joe classified series action figures that i have on hand in my collection